Okay, my friends, I'm going to show you how to scale an image um, and not distort uh, the subject matter that's inside your image. Now, this is just a cropped out bit from a much larger picture of Mount Hood, and I'm just using this as an example. It's not particularly wonderful composition, but let's see if we can't make it slightly better um, starting with this image. Well, the first thing we want to do is, let's say we want this image to be an 11 by 14, or 14 by 11. Well, we'll look and see that the image size we cropped out is actually 8 by 7. It's almost a square. So, um, let's duplicate this layer. Control and the letter J to duplicate. And then we'll go up here to Image Canvas Size. And let's make a canvas that is 14 wide and 11 high. And we'll click OK. Now we've got this, and this is the size we want this image to be. Now if we just go to Edit Content Aware Scale, and we start to scale it to our 1411, watch what it does to Mount Hood. We slide it over here, and Mount Hood's getting kind of stretched out and we slide it over there and now Mount Hood doesn't look anything at all like Mount Hood that we know and love that's right out our windows. So this is not acceptable. So let's not do that and let me show you a little trick on how to scale this without distorting Mount Hood. If we go up here and select the lasso tool and we we go out here and we make a selection around Mount Hood. Let's include these trees because we don't want them to look skewed. And I think I'll stay inside those trees. And we have this selection here. So everything inside these marching ants is going to stay relatively the same shape. It'll just get larger. Now once we've selected this, we need to go up to the word select up here, this menu. And at the bottom you'll see save selection. We're going to name this Mount Hood. Oops, H-O-O-D, not H-H-O-D. <laughs> Mount Hood. And click OK. Now we hit Control and the letter D to deselect those ants. <clears throat> now when we go to Edit, Content Aware Scale, watch uh, Mount Hood as we stretch this. You see Mount Hood is... Uh-oh. No, we didn't. Let's undo that. I got ahead of myself. We go to Edit, Content Aware Scale, and up here on the top you'll see the word Protect, None. Well, I just about screwed up and it wasn't protecting the selection we made. So let's click this and we see down here Mount Hood is the selection we're protecting. Now we'll go to, we've got our Content Aware Scale. Now when we move this, look at Mount Hood, it's not stretching out and it will be very obvious if you forgot like I did to select your saved selection under the protect menu here and we'll go ahead and raise it up you see Mount Hood's not getting taller it's staying great and we lower this part okay now we'll accept this now this is a pretty crappy composition also so we want an 11 by 14, and we know this is already 11 by 14, but let's go to the Crop tool, and we have 11 by 14 selected. It's a custom size. It's not one of these stocks. If you go down here and say Size and Resolution, you can create an 11 wide and 14 high. Um, in this case, I have it 14 high and 11 wide. Let's reverse that and make it 11 wide and 14 high. Well, I don't like that any better. We can hit the X key to switch that back. But let's let's work on our composition here. I think there's too much dark, so I'm going to lower the dark. And I want the mountain to be over here uh, on this rule of thirds line. But I still think there's too much dark, so let's lower it down here. And let's give it a little little more sky and a little less dark. I think I'll put it right there. 
maybe up just a touch. Well, that puts it kind of in the center. I think I'll put the base of Mount Hood uh, right along this rule of thirds line here. And I think I'll accept that. Now, um, we've got a little better composition. Uh, we've got less black and we'll add more sky. So if we go to um, Edit Content Aware Scale and we protect Mount Hood again, we'll raise this up and see what that looks like. Let's get rid of the things there. This is also should still be an 11 by 14 image size, 14 by 11. And I think this is a little better composition than that square box we had earlier. Um, so that's how you protect an item. This can be anything. You can protect a tree, a stream. Um, you can protect, you can circle an image. Let's let's do that again. Let's grab this crop tool and up here you see it's just a single selection. Here's where you can add another selection. So we click that one and we can select our Mount Hood like we did before but we can add another selection. Let's say we don't want this tree to get screwed up and let's say there was a bird in the sky right here. We can select that bird. Now when we scale things, this, this, and this will all stay as is and everything else out in here and all of this will stretch out and but these things will remain the same. They won't be skewed or uh, screwed up. I hope that helps. Um, thank you for watching.